there we go. And I have a break in the weather. Hi, thank you for joining me. This, I hope, is a quick repot. I have a break in the weather and I'm getting new roots on my Epidendrum Embrae crossed with Capricorn Noon. And you can see the state of the pot. It's been in here a good of part of three years. And there's a lot of moss growing around the top, which was never a problem in my opinion. I need that humidity during my dry summers. However, the leka in here is part of the leka that was not cleaned as diligently as I would have liked, considering that I had so many orchids coming in at the time. It never really got that proper soak to leach out all the excess minerals. So, apart from getting in a weak orchid, that didn't help the orchid itself in progressing quickly and developing properly. So two factors played their part why the orchid took so long to become something a little bit more relevant. And I want to get it out. Let me just make sure I protect those roots and not get the abrasions. Maybe we should take off the top layer of the leka and give this a good cleanup. And the reason I'm using a tub as opposed to my normal white tray is that I'm suspecting that this leka is going to be more dirty because of the moss on top, all the fine roots of the moss and it's a different cleanup. It's gonna take longer. I have to be a bit more pedantic. As a car starts to stand at idle right opposite the side of the hedge, thank you. Oh dear. But yeah, a break in the weather. It's been raining for two days on and off, which is great, perfect timing. But I also want to take advantage of getting this repot and cleanup done while the roots aren't as long. I don't know, I just have an issue with long new roots. It makes me nervous that my clumsiness makes puts more damage on them. So I'm trying not to rush this. I'm gonna pretend that it's a gorgeous sunny day, switch my brain into get the job done properly mode as opposed to doing a rush job. Otherwise, the whole thing defeats the purpose. <laughs> and we're gonna give it a shiny, shiny, new support and I have more roots than I thought I would have. I'm okay, I'm okay. We're okay, this is gonna be okay. Look at this, this little orchid on the top. Didn't look like it was doing much, but I was fooled and it was busy in the pot. Well, 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 and check this out even though I just cut it off, which doesn't matter. But check this out. A string of a dead root, you would say, right? Look at all that vellum in there. Coming off, easy peasy. And then a live little branch. Yeah, never know. But anyway, that's fine. That can come off because I've got my new roots. And that's what I'm concentrating on for this cleanup. I have another one similar to this, same situation. Very weak orchid to begin with. And from the jump, it had that leka that never really leached out. At the time, I wasn't aware that leka needed, well, at least my brand, needed so much attention before it's fit for purpose. And um, yeah, over the years, I've noticed a difference in my pots regardless of whether the orchid has grown to a size that it can now take the fertilizer that I'm giving it, because that made no difference. Divisions, when I was potting up divisions, I noticed how even when the orchid was downsized, the surface of the leka didn't behave the same way. It behaved better than the orchids that I had potted up a while ago. So I drew my conclusions and started measuring TDS. And lo and behold, what do you know? Big, big things happening while it leaches. So with bit by bit, my collection is now being able to be repotted into um, leka that has actually been leached six months, four months. And I'm not saying that is the case. It's just that when I don't repot over the winter or very little, 
then I don't use the lacquer, but I do a water exchange every once in a while. And suddenly my lacquer is much cleaner and the orchids are responding better. And the surface of the pot doesn't look so nasty. And I get minimal moss, which all seems to be a factor. I'm going to get my sprayer and clean up that base. I want to be a bit careful about spraying everywhere because I've got clean pots right under the shelf. There we go. That looks a prettier sight. That's better. I'm going to leave this cane in the back here. I don't know. It is slowly deteriorating, but it's not doing any harm. If it were soft and doesn't feel right, then I would cut it off, but it's slowly but surely. See, it's slowly but surely absorbing itself. There's no problem, I can cut that when the time comes. But this, I'm liking a lot. There we go. There's also some other nubbins. Very nice, very nice. And it can go in the same size pot, but with a cleaner environment. So am I happy with that? Just want to make sure I'm not cutting corners simply because I'm very wary of the weather. Very wary of it. I have 84% humidity today <laughs> with 18 degrees Celsius. So yeah, I'm going to be grabbing a fresh pot and I'm going to be using my bucket of small leca, which now has leached approximately two months and we're at 60, 50 parts per million. I'm gonna get myself situated and I'll be right back. I'm going to talk through the adjustments that I'm making. In the beginning, with the old setup, I had two microfibers and mixed leca, the sizes being large, small, and everything in between. So two microfibers, what I'm doing this time, because I'm only gonna be using small lecker, I'm only putting in one microfiber so that the environment is somewhat similar, not too wet and doesn't turn out to be different or too different from what it was before. I am so tempted to look at the other one, but I think I'm just going to consider myself lucky today. The other one, unless I pick off the top leg of, well, well, maybe we can look at it. Maybe we can look at it after this. Get that pot and have a look-see if it is necessary to do a repot. We'll have a little investigation. Because these two have always lived in tandem, side by side, languished together and it would be, in my head, a completely different dynamic if I had to now, you know, make a different setup change and repot at a different time. They've always sort of been together as a team, also in how I maintain them, care for them and flush them. So let's see. Let's get you in there. And I'm going to make my loop float. Really? You're not going to float? Why? I'm going to make you float. The strands are long enough in the base. All right, now let's just shake the pot a little bit and raise her up just a touch. There we go. All right, now let's be mindful of that root tip there. No lecker abrasions, if at all possible. Grab a little handful and gently, gently cover that root tip there and get the other ones covered up as well because they were used to it. There we go. 
and I'm hoping that this will make it now happier, cleaner pot, cleaner surface of the media. Let's get rid of all that water because it is going back on the table to continue getting some rainwater when it starts raining again. Now I'm going to get the other one, have a look at it and see what's going on. This is my Epidendrum Pseudoepidendrum crossed with Melanoporphyreum. Long name, dirty tag. There you go. So you can see that they pretty much look very similar. They are very, very sorry little orchids when they arrived. But let's have a look, see as to if there are roots growing because I am getting a new growth. But I can't see any root action without removing the surface of the leka. Oop, what do we see there? Good roots there. What is happening here? Do I dare go in or is it too soon? No, I'm not going in. Nope, not the same as the other one. Not the same and it's not worth it just because I want these two to continue to stay in tandem in my head. I would be doing harm if I now just insisted to go ahead and then hoped for the best. I'm tired of hoping for the best with these two candidates. So I'm gonna wait for that to develop its own new roots. But I'm gonna leave it exposed so I can keep an eye on them. There were good roots in the pot that I could see. That's all I need to know. I'm not even exposing this one yet to the rain because of that new growth. That's how much they have been on my mind trying to make sure that they come through, pull through. And you see even the top here started to deteriorate for whatever reason, there was no pests. You can see that it had hydration issues at some point and then it started to grow and then it started to languish again. So I'm not going to risk this one at all just because I want my routine to stay the same. I will change my routine. I will change the programming in my head so that this one still has some time. And the moment that growth starts with new roots, we're going in. So I appreciate the time that you took to watch. I hope that this was of interest. I hope it wasn't too rushed or I didn't speak too fast simply because I'm kind of aware of any raindrops possibly coming. Thank you so much for your time. Have yourselves a wonderful day and please stay safe and take care. Bye.